Good evening, I'm Ty Wilson. Thank you so much for watching the 41 NBC News at 7 on Bounce TV Macon. A teen went to the hospital because of a fight at the Macon Regional Youth Detention Center. Now his family wants to know how it happened. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes has more on the lawsuit they're looking to file. The family of 16 year old teen from Columbus is preparing to file a lawsuit against the Department of Juvenile Justice. They say the injuries that caused the fight could have been avoided had the detention center taken more precautions. Jerry L. Shepard says he knew his son staying at Macon Regional Youth Detention Center would change the teen's life forever, but he never imagined it would change like this. It's just he's, he's afraid more. He's afraid of his life just as well as I'm afraid for his life. Um, it's just, he's not, he's not my son. The GBI and Department of Juvenile Justice are now looking into the fight on March 25th that left his son in a coma. This incident occurred on Saturday. Well, on Monday, the March the 27th, the Department of Juvenile Justice contacted GBI, my office here, and asked us to send some agents up to investigate the fight that had occurred earlier. Special agent with the GBI, J.T. Rickardson, says this is the Bureau's first time in at least three years getting called to investigate the youth detention center. But after Shepard spoke with his son, he says this fight was no isolated incident. He was only there for a week. Um, during that week's time, he was assaulted three times. There were three incidents where he was assaulted um, first, first time. Um, he was um, on the basketball court. The guy punched him in his face. But the GBI's investigation focuses only on the fight between the two teens. We identified who all witnessed the incident. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as our investigation, we're only focused on the incident. We do not look into administrative procedures, why they had everybody in one room or anything like that. That is, that's not our concern. Shepard says his son was afraid to tell administration about what happened before the fight. Um, he was told by the guard not to um, report the incident or he will lose phone privileges. The Department of Juvenile Justice released a statement about the fight. It reads in part. At this time, the incident is being investigated by the DJJ Office of Investigations. The GBI is currently handling the criminal investigation. Because that joint investigation is active at this time, this department can release no further details in the ongoing investigation. The DJJ declined to comment on the protocol or day-to-day -day procedures of their youth detention centers. Shepard and his lawyer, Darrell Dowdell, say they have questions. How many guards on, uh, on duty? Where were his counselor? Uh, the gang activity that are related to his case. But his biggest concern is his son's safety while in custody of the state. Since the incident, the teen has been moved to another youth detention center in Columbus, but his family says he's unable to speak, suffering severe memory loss, and is not able to walk on his own. They plan to sue for damages. In the studio, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News. Joy, thank you very much. Dowdow says his law firm has drafted letters to both the hospital for releasing the teen and the detention center, putting them on notice that they will be filing a lawsuit soon. A spokesperson for the law firm says it'll be filed within the next coming weeks.